Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Red Shadow Legends and we're going to be using a blender setup, which is going to be a lot of fun. So before we do that, uh, yeah, if you're excited, leave a like and all that stuff. Uh, I just have to figure out if the Catacomb Counselor is speed geared properly. He definitely does have a lot of speed, which is great, 241 speed. Uh, so hopefully we will have enough for him to go right after Arbiter. I could also try to make him a little bit quicker, but I think 249 is, is okay for now. And yeah, we'll just have to try and fight people who does not have Arbiter speed leads. Because that is going to be the main issue. Uh, but before we begin with that, I want to show you the stats I have on these champions. So I have Skull Crown with 102% crit rate, 4100 attack, 18% crit damage with Savage Gear. And then uh, these are her masteries. I have, uh, what's that again? It is the Flawless Execution. And then I have my Sinesha, which is, where is she? Where, where art thou Sinesha? There she is. She's running a lot of attack and crit damage. She's running 2700 attack, 252% crit damage and only 82% crit rate. So we could actually try to get more crit rate on her. Uh, but we'll just try it as it is, and obviously I can I can work on trying to get her, her some more crit rates later on the road. But let's go ahead and actually see what happens. So let's play, put out these guys. Also, I need to remember to put Ray Gear from Kale back over to the back back over to to the the Kale over to Ray Gear, Kale Gear over to Ray Gear. That's the one I was going to say. So let's find our Catacomb Counselor, which is. Here, then we're going to be putting it here, and this is kind of what we're going to be trying to do. See how OP it is, see if we can farm quickly and stuff like that. So let's do it. The maintenance is in not too long, I saw, so I wanted to record before that. So let's see here. I'm going to go full auto, and we're going to see what happens. A lay attack is happening. We're kind of wiping people. Not doing as much damage as I would have hoped, actually. I'm actually really not doing the damage I wanted to do, but okay, I can't, I'm i counter-attacking at least. Uh, so yeah, let's just take her out, there we go. And then uh, we should be able to do a lot of damage here, we're going to crit. He's immune to debuffs, which is fine. So let's just do that. And there we go, yeah, so I definitely need, do need more damage on, um, on my blender combination, but that should be doable at some point, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, let's now try and fight, okay, so these guys don't have the quickest Aurea you've ever seen, so let's try and fight these guys, and we'll see how it goes, so yeah, obviously Catacomb Counselor has to go, so we'll see what happens, yeah, this is the way to go, this is the way to go, I like that, 92 and 59k, uh, who else, yeah, we must not fight people, for, <laughs> shit, 423k team power, I have a feeling this won't work. I have a feeling that we will lose, uh, but okay, uh, well, uh, who do I want to take out? Yeah, this won't work because they have just way too, more, too, way too much power. Yeah, they just have way too much power for me to do anything almost. Uh, yeah, Fate of Destruction will do stuff, he will get himself an extra turn. Um, yeah, we will continuously try and do damage to her, but yeah, these guys are way too high power for me to do really anything, so... Yeah, she will just revive. Yeah, 400k team power, and it's just not, it's just not going to work very well for me. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's continue anyway. And let's just do this. Then I suppose we'll just have to keep trying to take her out. Then we're going to have to do this again. This may actually work for some reason. I don't know why it's going to work, but uh, this is kind of hilarious if this w actually works. So let's increase my attack. Let's just do a lot of damage. Okay, there we go. I can't believe I actually beat that team of 400k power. What? How did I beat a team with 400k power? That doesn't make any sense at all. They must have so much resistance. Oh my god. That's kind of ridiculous, dude. That's kind of ridiculous. That's probably the thumbnail. I never anticipated beating a team with 422k power uh, with the Splendor team. I had no idea that was going to happen. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, and yeah, we cannot fight torments and stuff because uh, 
Yeah, I don't have I don't have the immunity gear, so it wouldn't really work too well for me. But we're going to be trying to do this, see what happens. So I will go here. I will do my ally attack and everything. We're going to wipe most people. He's going to do brutality, which is fine. And there we go. Yeah, I need to make sure I need to increase the crit rate on Sinatra because it's it's really not high enough. Let's try and fight this team right here. There's a lot of people without Arbiter Speed Lead, so. Someone told me Arena had been fixed, but uh, I'm not sure I fully believe that. Uh, but maybe I maybe the game has made an official statement or something regarding it. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're going to be removing the tur the buff duration there. Then we're going to be using that. Uh, he's kind of destroying me still. So let's just increase my own attack. She's going to give them them counter attack, which is fine. Uh, we're going to see what happens now, I suppose. There we go. She's incredibly tanky. She really is. She really is incredibly tanky. I will now counter attack again. And I will do this. He will again counter attack. And I should have my turn in any mo Okay, there we go. So yeah, we're making it work with the, with the blender team. Obviously it can go quicker if I just get more <laughs> if if I if I just get more attack and crit damage and stuff. But I thought the Savage set was a cool thing on Skull Crown, but it doesn't do as much as I would have hoped for. Uh, here we should probably focus on, on her. Not that that really does a lot. We're, yeah, they're, they're resisting everything. I resisted the provoke at least. Uh, these guys resisted quite a bit. I should have probably used that thing there. Yeah, this should probably be a loss, let's be honest. This is most likely going to be a big, big fat loss. But okay, it's fine, it's fine. We can't win everything, man. We cannot win at all. We cannot win at all. But I'm kind of curious then if I'm able to win this with my main team or if it's just not doable in general. How tanky are these guys, really? That's the question, man. That's the question we, we, must, be not, we must be asking ourselves. Uh, so yeah, we'll see now. Uh, well, I can't really do anything. She just has a lot of shield. That's that shield on the molly is kind of too too big too big for me. Removing buff. Uh, let's just reduce everyone's buff durations if at all possible. They're resisting quite a bit. Uh, and yeah, this shouldn't do too much damage. And the I'm not giving up yet. I suppose we we would like to d decrease her turn meter and weaken. Her turn meter was not decreased. I'm tanking somehow, and it's my turn yet again. <laughs> Can we win this? We probably can't, due to the freaking ridiculous shields that the Valkyrie gives. We're going to decrease the buff duration on most people, but they're resisting because my Arbiter isn't speed built, so yeah. But I have a feeling this is going to be a loss, so let's not do anything about it. Let's just give, let's just give up, yeah. No sense, no sense. Also, what's happening? Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but okay. I'm kind of curious if I can beat that uh, with the main team. So let's actually give give that a shot, and then we'll continue with with what we were doing. Uh, yeah, just want to see see if it's doable or not, or see or if they're too tanky. Uh, so yeah, let's just do this. We're going to hopefully resist some stuff, and we're going to be doing that. And this is going to be a nuke. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I do beat it with the main team, but it's a it's a cool team, cool enemy team there. Okay, anyone else with the? Uh, okay, so this beat aura, this could go horribly wrong. If I if if the catacomb counselor gets, he's going to get one shot. So no, yeah, catacomb counselor should get one shots there. So there's no sense in even trying it. So that's let's continuously do this and uh, see what happens. See what indeed happens. Um. Seems up with three random, so we'll probably do that towards uh, that one guy right there who is increasing everyone's attack. She'll do a corrupting touch. And uh, yeah, rip her. Rip her. Yeah, that's the damage. That's the damage from Zanesha we need. We just need it to crit all the time. That's the main point. We need it to crit all the time, otherwise, we're kinda in a bad spot. So let's just use this on auto. And one shot everyone. Yeah, three second battles. That's what you're that's what you need, man. You need the three second battles. That's the that's the point of the blender team. You can just wipe arena so quickly. 
It's kind of crazy. Okay, so she will do stuff. Uh, she will now not have her thing anymore, which is great. Let's just increase my turn meter. The, and then do that. She will do exhaustion, which is fine. Because I will one shot here. Because there's 100% crit chance. Plus she is void. So there's no chance of weak hits. Which is fantastic. Imagine Sinesha also was void. That would be kind of nuts. That would make the that would make the freaking blender team even more OP. Uh, but yeah, now let's just claim. Let, let's just head over to quests. Because I should be able to claim that. Because I purchased a shard from the market, I believe. So yeah, let's just do that. There we go, let's claim that too. Okay, so I have things expiring in not too long here. Uh, uh, tournaments. Also, I need to look at events as well. Regarding uh, getting the, ch the champions for Fane. Which is obviously the best designed champion you have ever seen. Okay, there, there we go. Obviously, I'm kidding, by the way. I, I assume you knew that. But let's see Let's see actually what's, what's up. Uh, and then champion training event, is that the one? Does this one give champions I need? I need a sanctum protector. Yeah, I think I need a, I think I need a sanctum protector, so we need to train champions. Yeah, right, isn't sanctum protector one of them? Yeah, so I need sanctum protector. I need Quaestor, Avir, Draconis. Okay, so let's see here. So I need Sanctum Protector. Let's see here. That is Dune Strider. Okay, so I, I I only really need uh I only really need Sanctum Protector. Barot the Blood Soaked Blood Blood Soaked. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, you can just get the entire champion if you if you get that far, but that's kinda difficult. I'm kinda curious though to see. Uh champion okay, so champion training, we need one of them. Artifact enhancement we can't do. Uh, Gorehill, whatever. I don't think that we need him. Because, uh, yeah, Gorehill is not a part of that. Yeah, he's he's a part of that champion, which is... We're not going to be fusing the legendary, obviously. So, yeah, let's just go over to members. Check in. There we go. Gold 4 for the win. Index. Have, have I unlocked a new champion as well? Ogren Tribes. Oh, yeah, I got Grush the Mangler from just logging in. Okay, so let's continue a little bit on Arena. Uh, with our lovely blender set up and see what happens. This is super efficient for farming though, it really is. Army of Death, just taking people out. That's a tanky boy right there, didn't even matter, man. Didn't even matter. Okay, so we can't take those guys out because of Tormin. Um, yeah, we have to actually refresh here. Yeah, we should be able to take these guys out most likely. Uh, Skill of the Drax will... I think that will will take him out. I have two revivers, but still. Skill of the Rex is nice like that. It's tanky and she can revive. Everything is good about her, but yeah, she wasn't great enough there, I suppose. That girl grab tanked the most for the 5k health. Not bad at all. So let's continue. This is actually so efficient. I didn't realize the Blender team was this efficient, even for me, when it's not properly built. Or it's not built well enough and it's still working against many, many, many people. Which I like. And that's kind of interesting why they're not using Lord Shazar speed aura. That's kind of... They don't understand auras, apparently. Yeah, they really should be using the <laughs> that aura right there. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. And we'll just take him out. Take them out. Take M out. And there we go. Easy victory. Um, yeah, I'm kind of curious if we'll beat that. We're beating every team without uh, Arbiter speed lead. Well, most of the teams, except for that one team. Uh, with Valkyrie and everything, but it's actually going quite efficiently here. So yeah, definitely, I definitely recommend building uh, building a team like this if you can. Uh, I don't have enough. I don't really want to spend forty gems uh, on more on more uh, attempts right now. Uh, but yeah, the the team is working okay, I suppose. It really is kind of int. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We need a speed booster. I kind of was thinking, oh wait, maybe we use Ghostborn as the quickest boyo, but he doesn't give turn meter boost. So people would definitely go in between him and uh, and uh, the freaking uh, Masali, no, not Masali Image. Uh, the why, why, why do I have a brain fart right now? The Catacomb Counselor, that's his name. Yes, but uh, Fane for sure, definitely worth it. 
and someone did misunderstand me about Fane, what I meant was not guaranteed, like it can't be dodged, but it's guaranteed in the sense of the skill buff slash debuff percentage chance. So uh, she, I would only use her for the spider, so I could build her with 210 speed and 500 accuracy, and I'm sure she would very very rarely be resisted if resisted at all so it's it's not a problem to get the accuracy for her not to do it because she would only be used there i could just put a lot of accuracy and speed gear on her and 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 give and set her up so that's not a problem to where i need a skill where it can't be resisted i will have the i will have high enough accuracy to where it can't be resisted <laughs> Uh, yeah, because I'm sure there at some point you you do reach a, a point of accuracy where it just cannot be resisted regardless, with the spider at least. Uh, but yeah, I, I do think that's about it, because the game is about to have a maintenance in just a minute. So yeah, I would like to thank everyone for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. Leave a like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys.